Hello traders at CMC Markets. Welcome to another update by RRG Research for Monday 10th of October. I'm recording this on Friday the 7th of October. My name is Trevor Neal. I'm a presenting from London and I'm Research Director at RRG Research BV. We start as usual by looking at the relative rotation graph of major indices versus the MSCI world index here at the crosshair in the middle. We notice immediately that most indices are on the right and so outperforming the global index itself. Notably not on the right is the Hang Seng, the poor old Hang Seng. I'll come back to that in a moment. Drilling down, we look now at a daily sampling of the RRG um, global indices versus the MSCI world. And there is something very striking here. Yes, most of the things are over on the right. Yes, again, the Hang Seng is confirming in the shorter and in the, the longer term that it is very poor indeed, poor old Hang Seng. But uh, look at the direction of this bundle of indices here. We've got um, the, the Dow, the CAC, the DAX, stocks, the Australian index, the uh, Nikkei and the FTSE all heading in a southwesterly direction. So we had a substantial bounce this week in uh, uh, stock indices, but they've hit the, many of them have hit their um, uh, resistance levels and have lost some momentum. The southwesterly direction uh, infers a decline in both RS ratio, so uh, our performance of the index itself and uh, momentum of it too. Let us start by looking at the poor old Hang Seng. Uh, unusually, let's look at it with a, a, um, a chart where each bar is a month. Here we broke that very important level which we've been highlighting um, of 18,200. Uh, it broke that to, to 16 low and uh, we plummeted. Now we plummeted right back to the 2011 low uh, here which is being tested. Now this is a support level we did bounce from there and we've stayed above it since, uh, since 2011 but this uh, this level is is terribly important. Um, this uh, If 16,000 uh, were to give way or 16,000 uh, uh, seven, uh, 17,000, 16,000 to 17,000, a little spike shadow in there, were to give way, um, then I think we're in a terrible uh, situation of potentially coming right back to the 2008 low um, of, um, I mean, really uh, 12,000 down there. So it is support, so let's respect the support. It's a monthly support, of course, as well. It is deeply oversold. We can see that in the RSI here, so there is strong potential uh, for, for a bounce. It's so very much overdue. We've been coming down for a long time. Now it's been a virtually a one-way street, but it is still looking very, very weak and still looking dangerous. So it's, um, it's a weak security, which is looking in dangerous, dangerous for another plummet. The gap between um, here of uh, 17,000 down to 12,000 is, is enormous here. And we, we moved up and uh, down and up into it very rapidly. So it, we could move very rapidly through it on the downside too, if it do, does finally give way. Suspect not immediately, because and it's more vulnerable to a, to a rally. But um, this is the candidate for if you were doing any pairs trading of stock indices for your short leg. It is still very weak. It's just um, it's uh, back to this important support level. So let's watch your behaviour um, here and recognise how overextended it is. Although the trend is very very weak indeed. Last week, uh, Julius uh, did a scan and he, despite the uh, falling markets of the time, three stocks came up. And I'd like to follow up on, on those uh, ones which he, he commented on in detail. That was ABV, A -B -B -V, uh, Lamb Western Holdings Incorporated, um, LW, and also Wynn uh, Resources, WYNN. -N. So let's go through those now and see how they turned out after his highlighting and discussing the chart patterns that we saw. Now the first one um, looked like 
to, uh, it might be, and bear in mind this is a week ago that he did this, a reverse head and shoulder. Shoulder, head, shoulder, here, neckline, here, and that's when we were talking. So the potential was for a break of the neckline and then a swing up from there towards the resistance at 150 in AV. But it, it didn't break up. This is the important thing. It didn't break up, didn't break the neckline, never triggered the reverse head and shoulders, and it sunk hard, hard. It has bounced since, and it uh, sunk uh, right down to the previous low um, of uh, the end of August, but um, uh, and it held there. But still, this wasn't. This one looked as though it had great potential to the upside, but it didn't. Crucially, did not trigger the signal. Now, second stock uh, that Julius highlighted from our scanning was Lamb Western Holdings, and he, he liked uh, the, pa the pattern here, the rising lows pattern, rising highs pattern. We had pulled back, we had consolidated here, we had a um, uh, constructive looking pattern in the RSI at this point, and uh, he picked uh, the, the scan, picked this one up, and we thought that. The chart looked good, even though it had drifted. Well, it shot higher. It shot higher from uh, 77 uh, up to 84 and retested its mid-August high here. It hasn't broken it yet. In fact, we've got a couple of shadows on top of it now, but it's looking constructive. Potentially, it could leg higher if it breaks through that 84 uh, level there properly, but it's got off to a good start having been talk talking about it when we were down at 78 there and now we're up at 82 uh, for the security. So that one has started well if you like and it's still looking like it has further potential if it can take out that August high. The third uh, stock that uh, Julius highlighted last week was Wind Resources Limited, and um, uh, this broke through its uh, 70 resistance level. We had three highs in there in place. We had this rising lows pattern, a good case to be made, so, sort of kind of a complex head and shoulders here, um, reverse head and shoulders, two, two lows here making the left shoulder, two lows here making the right shoulder, two lows here sorry, making the head, and uh, two lows here, making the right shoulder. But very clearly, no doubt about it, 70, the round number was the reverse, was the neckline for the reverse head and shoulders. We shot through it during the week, blasted away uh, powerfully, nice uh, um, uh, action in the RSI. Now, we measure from the head to the neckline, so that's essentially 50 to 70, and then add that to the neckline, 70, 90, that gives us the calculated minimum price objective. Yes, we have got some resistance at 80, but up here at 90, that is the minimum price objective, that takes us back to the February high. So with this kind of consolidation forming a base and this strong break like this, this does look as though it may well have followed through. So we we uh, we like this one, and it, uh, it, we will keep on tracking it. So this has been my roundup of uh, Julius's um, featured securities uh, last week from from the US. Uh, he also has uh, um, featured securities from the UK, from the uh, FTSE All Share, which have done well. You know, this has been, it's been very good performing. Uh, index uh, largely because of the uh, the weak sterling uh, but we'll save that for for later to follow up on on those ones and we'll keep on scanning using RRG scans and look for uh, interesting things for you to focus on and opportunities for you. I'll leave it uh, there for this week again. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, we will be with you again uh, next week, most probably it will be Julius, same time, same place. Uh, goodbye bye from Julius and I of RRG Research, and may the trend be with you.